How about you? Are you only thankful when you get what you want? Do you only say thank you when you receive something big? Do you think that it's important to be a thankful person consciously? I mean, just thinking about, oh, am I a thankful person? What am I thankful for? Aren't these things the things that I'm thankful for? Being a conscious, thankful person. Can you think of some negative things, some negative effects from not being thankful? And also, can you think of some positive effects from being thankful? Some negative effects for, for not being thankful, maybe you may forget the things that you should be grateful for and live an ungrateful life. When you don't say thank you, you forget about the things that you should be thankful for. And what happens? Because you're not thankful, you are ungrateful. You are unthankful. You know, there are people like that. You know, you look at them and think, wow, they have so much to be thankful but they seem to be always complaining, even thinking, why don't I ever get what I want? Why is my life so bad? You know, one of the bad things about not being fun, thankful is you may forget the people that you should be grateful to. And you live an unloving life. When you forget to be thankful to your parents, you are no more appreciative of them and you become ungrateful and you start what? Complaining. Why are my parents like that? Maybe you forget about God, all of the things that he's done for you and complain. Why doesn't God answer my prayer? Why doesn't he give me what I want? You know, when you think that you have nothing to be thankful for, your lifestyle will reflect that and you will live an unhappy, unfulfilled life. You're just going to be an unhappy, grouchy person. How many of you know people like that around you? They always seem to be like having a frown on their face. Oh, always like life is so hard. I don't know why God is doing this to me. I have nothing to be thankful. The negative effect of not being thankful is you be just said become negative. Now let's think about some positive effects for being a thankful person. For one, you will definitely become a happier person. It's like your heart goes from this deserted, dry place that is fatigued with everyday burdens and chores to a warm, green, comfortable person who everybody likes to be around. Secondly, you know, like I said, the people around you will be happier because of you. You know, if you become happy, if Jimmy becomes happy, then Rebecca is going to be happy, most likely, because, you know, seeing a really grouchy, unhappy brother would be really, really tiring every single moment. But then if somebody just smiling and is, is happy and thankful, it kind of, it's like a happy virus. You kind of get that from, from that other person, too. Now, I want all of us to think about our lives and ask ourselves, what we should be thankful for, okay? I know it's Thanksgiving, and, and, you know, the message is going to be on thank Thanksgiving, right? But this is something that applies to us every single day of our life. You know, all of us should be thankful for our parents, right? 
just think about how much they love you. Just think about all of the things that they do for you. Sometimes you might think they're overdoing it. Maybe it's not the love you want. But nevertheless, they are loving you the best way that they know how. All of us need to be thankful for our God, our great loving God who loves us so great that he died for us, right? Everybody knows this, but sometimes we forget to be thankful. We just don't think about it that much. You know, God has blessed your life with so many good things, but we just sometimes forget, and we are not thankful. Many of us are not thankful, maybe because we are taking things for granted. Okay, my parents love me. Okay, they're supposed to love me. So what? God loves me. Okay, that's what God does. He loves me. So what? You know, when we take the things that we should be thankful for granted, you will have nothing to be thankful for. And again, you're going to be a miserable person. And because you are unhappy, you're going to be a negative person. Your parents are going to be unhappy too. And God's going to be unhappy that you are unhappy. Because God's will for you is for you to rejoice all the time and give thanks in all circumstances to be a loving sons and daughters. Well, if you have been uh, taking either your parents or God for granted, then you need to repent, right? We just learned about repent. You need to tell them that you are sorry that you weren't being thankful for their love and ask for forgiveness. Mom, Dad, you know, I wasn't very thankful for the last, I don't know, year, 10 years, 11 years. I'm sorry. I know you love me, and I know you guys sacrificed for me so much, and I wasn't that thankful. Sorry. Then repent by coming back to their love, by being thankful. Now, some of you may question why you use the word repent when it comes to your parents. It's not like it's against God or anything. You know, I use the word repent because people who are not thankful to their parents cannot be thankful to God. If you can't thank the person that you could see, who you could feel, who you could touch, who you get things from, there's no way you're going to be thankful to God. It's just going to be impossible. That's why you need to repent at this level. But, you know, being thankful is not only a Christian thing, right? Everybody, every religion in this world, people who doesn't believe in God, everybody's thankful. But what is the Christian difference? Let me ask you, what if you don't have anything to be thankful for? You say, you know, my life is just unhappy. Things are not going well for me. You know, I'm not getting the things I want to get. I'm, I'm not, the things that I'm planning, it's not happening for me. You know, my teachers are reasonable. I'm getting really bad grades, and it's really stressing me out. I'm not happy right now. My parents are not getting me that, that cell phone that I want. You know, who do I, you know, I'm so, so miserable. All my friends have one. Why don't I have one? What if your parents lose a job, you know, because of this COVID, and your your family is in financial difficulty? What if you're actually parents or somebody, your sibling or your family member, get the COVID-19? What if they're really sick? What if they have cancer? Can you still give thanks? Should you still give thanks? Well. According to our scripture today, we are to give thanks in all circumstances. In all circumstances, this is not a command just for the super Christians. This is not an extra blessing 
above and beyond what nor normal Christians get. No, this is God's commandment for everyone who proclaims to be a Christian. Every one of his child is supposed to give thanks in all circumstances. Christians, all Christians, are those who know that they deserve nothing but hell. Like we talk about for repentance, the number one thing is to realize that I am a sinner, that I am not that as good as I thought. But because of God's love, because God's grace and mercy, I became God's child. And, and I'm going to spend eternity with God in heaven. So, I am thankful. You know, anyone who believes this, I mean truly believe this, anyone who lives this conviction cannot but be thankful. Because no matter what, my heaven has started already. I am with my loving, not only with my loving parents, but my loving father, Godfather in heaven. If you are not thankful, maybe you should ask yourself if you really believe this or not. Let's look at our verse again. Rejoice always. Pray continuously. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. What the Bible tells us today is this. If you are a Christian, if you are in Christ, if you live to do God's will, then this is God's will for you. This is God's command for you. Rejoice always. Pray continually and give thanks in all circumstances. Because you are already, because you already have everything in Christ. Because you really don't need anything else. That's why you can't be thankful in every circumstance. Because you already have everything. You are joyful and thankful. Because you already have the eternal life with the loving Father. And you don't need anything else. You know, God says, my grace is sufficient for you. You might not need that PS5. You might not need that car. You might need that, not that iPhone. My grace is sufficient for you. And everything else is secondary. My grace is sufficient for you. So you have to be, you should be thankful for in all circumstances. Because you have me, God says. Are you not happy? Are you not thankful? It's probably because God is not sufficient for you. Because you want more than God. You need more than God to make you happy. But the problem is this. There is no such thing. There is nothing more than God. You are unhappy, unfulfilled, and ungrateful because you want something that doesn't exist. You can never be fulfilled. Because no such thing, there's no such thing beyond God. As we close, let me leave you with this thought. The only person who can give thanks in any and all situation and circumstances is someone who already has everything. Because I already have everything, I don't need anything more to make me happier, to make me more joyful, to be more thankful because I'm already thankful. But let me add, this is really not that easy, is it? Why is it not easy? It's not easy because of this thing called sin nature in us. Unless we are awake, we will focus not on the things that to be thankful for, but we're, go we're gonna be focusing on the things that we're still lacking, that we still desire, that we still don't have because we, by nature, is greedy. Because we, by nature, are proud. We want more than other per people. We want better grades. We don't want just good grades. We want better grades for, than somebody else. We want to be more popular. We want to have more recognition, more attention. We don't want people to look down on us. 
So we concentrate on the lackings of our life, and it's just going to make us unhappy people, ungrateful people. So we need to be awake, wake up, and realize, recognize, hey, I already have everything in God. I really do not need anything else. If you feel bad, if you feel sad, if you feel miserable, if you feel depressed, if you feel lonely, stop and ask yourself, why am I not thankful? Because all of that is coming because you are in an ungrateful state. And then you have to realize God's grace is sufficient for me. My parents' love is sufficient for me. This week, let's try to give thanks in all circumstances and rejoice always by praying continuously, okay? Start our gratefulness by thanking our parents for all of their love today. After the service, when you see them, say, hey, mom, dad, thank you. And try to list, say the things that you're thankful for. Thank you for cooking me breakfast. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for not hating me when I do something wrong. Thank you for just always being there. And I want you to look for opportunity to give thanks, whether God or parents. This week, look for opportunity. Just don't wait until you have that aha, I'm thankful moment. Look for opportunities to be thankful to your parents, to God. <laughs> And for all the teachers, your wives, or your girlfriends, or your boyfriend, whoever, let's see how many times we can say thank you this week and record that, okay? And again, you cannot be thankful if you don't pray, because if you don't pray, you're not going to have God on your mind. Who, if you don't have God on your mind, who are you going to have on your mind? You. If I don't have God on my mind, the person... The thing that I have in my mind is me. And it's very hard to be thankful, unless you're really egotistic, <laughs> unless you're really proud, okay? Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, you commanded us, Lord, to rejoice always and give thanks in all circumstances by praying continuously, Lord, because this is your will for us who's in Christ Jesus, Lord. We are in Christ Jesus. We're proud that we're in, we're in Christ Jesus. And as we profess that, I, I pray that all of us would also profess that your love and your grace is sufficient for us, Lord, that we don't need anything else. That's why we are just happy all the time. That's why we are grateful all the time. Help us to be the kind of people that gives this happy, grateful virus to those around us. I know that you are happy, God, when we are happy. Because we're happy, because we are in you, because we're in Christ Jesus, Lord. I pray that this week you would wake us up, Lord. Wake up our spirit within us so we recognize the things that we should be thankful for. All of the beautiful, all of the good things that you have provided for our lives, Lord. All of the love that our parents show us, I pray that we would look for you in our prayer. We pray all these things in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. And also I pray that you would keep us safe. You would keep us healthy during this whole week, Lord. Help us to be safe from not only COVID, but everything else. Uh,